Hello and welcome to Universe Sandbox 2, the game where you can flip planets until you get kind of dizzy. I can imagine this were in like Oculus Rift, how severely dizzying this would be. I'm already getting dizzy. I'm going to stop now. <laughs> um, so today we are going to be messing around with stars and black holes. Things I get asked uh, to mess with pretty often, but. I personally don't think there's too much to do with them, but you know what? I'm gonna give the benefit of the doubt and just go through and dedicate a full uh, episode of this to you guys who believe that stars and black holes are the coolest things in this game. So to those of you who think that, let's go ahead and put down some stars and some black holes. <laughs> so let's start with the sun. And let's make, actually, you know, let's just, uh, start with a black hole. We'll go with something one million times more massive than the sun. And then we're going to put the sun around it. And, uh, going pretty quickly. Uh, let's turn off trails. And labels. And just watch as the sun is ripped apart from the black hole. Sorry, I have to let my dog in so that she doesn't rip off my face again if anyone remembers the thousand subscriber stream you'd remember that that was very unfortunate um wait not the 1000 that was the 3000 5000 that was a 5000 subscriber stream i can't even tell anymore it goes by so fast okay so the uh sun is now being ripped apart pretty quickly poor thing but the question is, how long until it isn't actually a star anymore? We So, we've got some sort of, uh... It appears that it's not actually losing any mass. So, the only way to fix this would be to bring the sun closer. Which I failed at. Good job, me. We're going to redo this then. Let's actually, let's go bigger black hole and closer sun. There we go. That's bound to do something. And because of the rush limit, the sun is now being ripped apart. And it got eaten. Darn game. Why do you let the black hole eat the sun, even though it's realistic? Let's just throw Earth around the black hole real quick. Let's just pause, go here, slow things down a tad. Just instant destruction. Just instant. Oh my. So we can see that there's just a giant stream being ripped out of the Earth. Um. It's pretty nice. Good job, Earth. And let's try something a bit, uh, a bit larger. Let's go for where's V Y Canis Majoris. Here we are. And um, let's see if this has what? I think it was touching the edge. Oh, they're just being instantly thrown away. Um, interesting. Let's try this again. Um, black hole. We'll just go a little bit further away this time. And if we keep zooming in, we'll eventually get there. And let's go out. First off, slow down time a bit so that we can see what's actually happening. And now there we go. We've got V.Y. Canis Majoris in the house. And it is now being ripped apart. Will it orbit without being thrown away? Oh, it looks like it is. It looks like we've got a stable orbit. And now there it is. B.Y. Canis Majoris being ripped apart by a black hole. 
not really losing much mass. Well, each piece of that's probably bigger than the Earth, but compared to its full size, not really losing that much mass. And if we speed this up, uh, epilepsy warning. But it doesn't appear that anything's really happening. So what we're going to do is we're going to increase the mass of this black hole in an attempt to get more of a reaction to VY Canis Majoris. Which is now going to come in very close. And... It's being ripped apart, but not exactly in a, like... It's not doing what I was expecting it to do. It still is interesting though, watching it go around. Let's go to grams. Is it changed? No, that's, that's, we gotta go something like Jupiter. Earth. Moon. Kilogram. It's not really changing. It's actually not losing any mass. Hmm. Maybe stars just haven't been uh, perfected on that yet. Um, uh, let's go find UI Sunny and smash it into VY Canis Majoris because, you know, why the heck not? Other than catastrophic failure, uh, killing a ton of aliens. Alien lives matter. Oh geez, here it goes. The explosion. It's getting ready. Oh my. That was interesting. It just kind of bounced and then supernova And there's two Nova Revenants. How are there two? What? There's only supposed to be one. It's a Duolo Nova. Oh, yeah. Duolo Nova. That's what I'm naming that. Because it was a double supernova. Meaning double the lag. Let's just zero velocity these and make them hit each other again. Maybe they'll do it again. The world may never know. Well, now they will because we're doing it. Are you gonna start moving towards... No, I think they're too far apart, honestly, for gravity to take any effect. So, let's grab... Let's turn down time a little bit. Because we're a little bit excessive here. And let's also move them closer together. Gravity still isn't acting on it, but that's because we're light years away. <laughs> Many light years away. Let's get even closer. That's a light year away. This is getting very close now. Why are they not being attracted to each other? Seriously? Do they have no mass? What is going on? Has physics... Uh, have physics broken? Did not mean to do that, but whatever I just did just exploded the universe. Let's, uh, do something new now. Hmm. It's a white star, well, blue star, just very bright. Let's just throw stars at each other for the fun of it. See how many it takes to make my computer vomit. Well, it appears we are hitting the point where my computer is getting slightly angry, but you know, we can handle a bit more. Computer, don't kill me! Jeez. 
rip computer, ripping pepperoni. Oh my. I think I may have crashed the game. Quickly, new simulation. What else can we do? Uh, we can get a black hole and... Uh, hmm. How close can we get the sun to this black hole? It just ate it. Just... Sun's so much bigger and it's just... Boom! Gone. Enough said. Um, let's do this again with a bigger black hole. One million million suns, and that should be about the same size as the sun. A bit bigger, but that's okay. We'll just get as close as possible. We're gonna have to go free cam for this. See just how close we can get. Now the colliders on these are not going to be perfect, so we can get it within a certain amount before it just assumes that they're colliding. And that is that point, I'm pretty sure. Nope. Oh, they just got flung away. That one was so close it got flung. How far away? Half of a light year away within uh, a few hours. I guess we have to go within a uh, certain distance for this to work properly. So let's create a little pinwheel here. Uh, and the inside we can see are being ripped apart faster and the outside is taking a bit longer. But what is left actually looks pretty cool. So you have to be pretty much within the that, the outer star is too far away to be ripped apart by the Marsh Limit, but anything within that seems to be ripped apart. Closer is more ripped apart, and basically the black hole now has rings. Even though these stars are not losing any mass, which I don't know how it's possible either, but you know, this is how life works. Actually, we're going to test something and see if this is breaking the laws of physics. Let's see if these particles actually do have any mass. By hitting Earth at them and seeing if anything happens. If something does happen, then the conservation of mass is incorrect because everyone knows energy and matter cannot be created nor destroyed. I know this is this is kind of I just want to see what happens here. Cuz I don't know how what these particles are being made from. And if your answer is programming, I, I know it. I know. But, I want to see if they actually are given any mass, or if they're just randomly created just for the effect. Because normally, in a collision, these particles can add mass to planets and stuff. And here's Earth. These are very big particles, too. They are bigger than Earth. So I'm assuming if they hit Earth, they do have some sort of mass. If we can even hit Earth that one. Um, okay, here we go. One's going to hit this. Maybe not. We'll just do this manually. Um... Let's just pull Earth over, pull it up this way, and let's see, here are the particles, very close to this one, I had a feeling this was going to happen, they're the same size no matter how close you zoom in, <laughs> um, they always take up the same amount of screen space. So it may actually be impossible to hit it. Actually, no, it's possible. So it looks like it's hitting it if we go out this far, but now it isn't. But if we can hit the origin point of it, there we go. Let's see if anything happens to Earth. Nope, exact same amount of mass. So 
those aren't yet um, realistic, those particles. Now I can compare that to if I put Earth around a black hole. Hey Earth, how are you doing? Just uh, do that for us real quickly. And if we go to the mass of Earth, Maybe it's a black hole thing. It could also be because none of this is actually being sucked out of Earth. It's just uh, staying around in a circle there. How about that? I think that's enough to give us the answer we need. The answer we want. The answer we need. The answer to destroy all answers. That's the moon, but it doesn't really matter. No. It appears that it's black holes, just don't do it. Now, if I were to compare that to, for example, if I can find Jupiter, and put Earth around Jupiter, we can clearly see, unless it's not working for anything anymore, you guys remember ripping apart Earth, um, well, ripping Earth apart, that was the first time I did the rush limit in this, and the Earth lost mass rather quickly. But we'll try the moon. And this would be slightly disappointing if it doesn't work anymore. Maybe they're changing it in the latest beta. This is definitely being ripped apart. But no! The mass is not changing at all. That's very interesting. Um, we'll see if that's fixed ever. It will be. It was working before I switched to the new beta, so. Well, guys, that was quite a bit of stuff. We did the Duolo Nova. We messed around with planets and black holes and stuff. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If not, lost fate no um if you like this video right now you'll get your own uh black hole i don't know how but there you may die so no one will actually be able to tell you if it worked or not because they'll be dead but you know it's the thought that counts so if you want your very own black hole just like this video just do it if you subscribe, um, that black hole won't be big enough to kill you. It'll just be a little mini black hole in like a little glass display case, and you can show your friends. It's like a cool trinket. You can be like, "Hey, look at look at this! I I own a black hole." Yeah. Albright Incorporated now selling black holes. Goodbye. <laughs>